Hey everybody, welcome back to part two of creating your own crypto portfolio tracking app. This video is going to cover how to add a log table so when you update your asset information, you're also keeping a history with that information as well. First, we'll go ahead and create our change log table. So first we have our log ID. This will just be a unique identifier for the log. We have asset ID um, that will be used to capture the asset ID that this log is related to. And then there's date and time. And then we have fields here to capture a new quantity and the new price. So super simple. And we can go ahead and jump into the app editor right now. And then we're going to see that because we're using a sheet, AppSheet's going to automatically say that, you know, there's, there's a change log available. And we can quickly add that to our application. Now we know um, that for this change log, we're really going to only add to this table over time. So we can prevent other updates and other features from being added to our app just by disabling updates and deletes. So with that set, then we can jump over to our columns and in change log, um, expand the columns that AppSheet detected and make sure that we have these settings uh, that are suitable for what we're trying to do. So we know that log ID is a unique ID that'll be generated. We also probably want to hide this as well, just like our other ID in the asset table. We also have asset ID that is going to be a reference field. We're going to set the reference field as the back to the asset table here. And then date and time and the initial value. We don't want it to just be today. We want it to be now to include the time. And then under new quantity, um, we want to change that to a decimal, just like we did yesterday, um, our price set for the new price. The next part in establishing this log is we need to create some kind of automation that is going to run when we detect a change quantity of the asset or the price of that asset. So we'll get started creating this bot. So we'll first describe what we're trying to do. And then we're going to create an event for this record is updated and actually it's going to generate the event here on the right side of the screen. In addition to updates, we also want to include the ads and updates as well. So when we add a new record, there's a log of the initial total and price that was initially loaded for that asset. And then down under condition, we're going to set a condition here because we want to detect um, changes in only the total or asset price column. So we're going to use an or condition here. And we're basically going to use the formula um, this row before dot total does not equal total. So this will compare the two values before and after and identify if there's a difference. And then the same thing we'll add to for the asset price. And because this is an or condition, only one of these two have to be true for this event to become valid. So we finish this event. Next, we're going to run a process and we're going to want that process to add a new um, record to the change log table and we'll create a custom step for that. And then for the custom step, we want this to be a run a data action and we're going to create a new action. And then under, and for the type here, we're going to set add new rows and then we're going to choose the change log table that we added to the app. And then we're going to start adding the columns that we're going to populate with these values. We don't need to choose log ID because that's automatically generated um, when any new record's created. So we can start with the asset ID and we'll choose new price and quantity. We don't need to include date and time because that's automatically updated with the current date and time when that records. So for asset ID, what we're going to want to do is reference the um, asset I, uh, ID itself and put the ID field in the field that AppSheet's going to populate. And then for price, we're going to just choose asset price. And then for quantity, we'll choose the total. And with my bot saved, I can now test my application. So if you remember from last video, we had these two uh, test assets in this application. Let's go ahead and change the Bitcoin one and let's change the total to um, 0.45. And we can also change the asset price as well. We'll go ahead and hit save. 
Now, what we should see here is after uh, the app syncs, we now have this change log down below showing this new uh, entry into our change log uh, that records the change. Thanks for watching and tune in to the next video, part three, where we'll continue our development process and we'll talk about how to calculate total asset values from the existing data that's input into the application.